Hey, what's up, guys? This is Sandeep Sky, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to dual boot Linux Mint 21.1 and Windows 10. So, let's get started. So, first of all, open your web browser and search for Linux Mint. After that, click on the first website and click on download. And then download the Cinnamon edition of Linux Mint. After that, open another tab and search for Rufus and download the latest version of Rufus. After you have done these steps, close your web browser and insert your pen drive which is at least of 8 GB and please make a backup of your pen drive before proceeding. After that, go to your downloads directory and open Rufus. Now select the Linux Mint ISO file which we just downloaded earlier. Now to choose the partition scheme, go to your windows search and type system information and as you can see mine is UEFI but yours may be legacy as well. So if you have a UEFI system you need to select GPT and if you have legacy then you need to select MBR. Now you can leave the rest of the settings as it is and then click on start. Since this process is going to take some time I'm going to fast forward this part. Finally our bootable pen drive is ready. Now close everything and right click on your start menu and open disk management. Now select the disk with your largest volume and right click on it and select shrink volume. Now you need to shrink at least 40 GB of free space for Linux Mint. Now all it's left is to restart our computer and boot into the Linux Mint pen drive. Now while your computer is booting up, press F2 key to enter your BIOS setup and for UEFI systems, make sure that your secure boot is disabled in order to be able to boot into your bootable Linux Mint pen drive. The process of disabling secure boot for your laptops or your PC may be different so please make sure to look up for your system and disable it. Now while your computer is starting up, press escape key or F11 or F12 key depending on your laptop to open your boot menu and select USB option to boot into your Linux Mint pen drive. After booting into Linux Mint, please test everything to make sure that everything is working before installing it and after that click on install Linux Mint. Now once the installer opens, select your preferred language and then select your preferred keyboard layout and after that make sure to connect to your Wi-Fi network. Now check on the install multimedia codecs options and then click on continue. Now here you need to select the third option which says something else and then click on continue. Now find the free space which we just created on windows. Mine was 40 GB so I'm going to look for 40 GB free space and then select the free space and click on this plus icon. Now you can leave the rest of the settings as it is and select the mount point as forward slash which is the root partition. Now the installer will create a ext4 root partition. Now for the bootloader installation, select the topmost option if you have a legacy system and if you have a UEFI system then Choose the option which says Windows Boot Manager. Now make sure to double check everything and then click on install now. If you are connected to your internet then it will detect your time zone automatically but if not then choose your time zone manually. And after that it will ask for your user information just give your username and your password for your system 
now this process is going to take some time depending on your system so I'm just going to fast forward this part as well so finally our installation process is completed now you can just click on restart now and it will ask you to remove the pen drive and press enter just do what it says now every time you start your computer you will see this menu to choose between your operating systems the first option is to boot into linux mint and the third for windows so for now i'm going to boot into linux mint So our Linux Mint is installed successfully and is working properly. So now I'm going to boot into Windows 10 to test if it is working properly or not. So as you can see we are also able to boot into our windows properly. So that's it for the video guys. If you found this video helpful then please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.